Hello everybody, how's it going? Um, just got done with dinner. Been a very busy day of work today. It was a rough day. Um, oh, let me get this out of the way. Got the uh, recycle bin here. It's got to go out in the morning, so I always put it right by the door where I go out so I don't forget it. Otherwise, it's two weeks till the next recycle bin comes. And we build up a lot of recycle in two weeks. Um, heading out to the garage. Uh, the other day, I uh, turned and CA'd all of my... Um, antler blanks. Tonight, I need to micro mesh and polish and hopefully assemble all of them. Let me show you what I've got. The pen and pencil sets are all done. And uh, what I'll do at the end of this video, I'll take a photo of one and show it to you. But I've got these six go with these Magnum bolt actions back here. This is a Scottish deer antler that I've got finished up. It just needs to be micro meshed and polished. And these four are my uh, extras. I went ahead and turned up four extras. Uh, because it, it never fails once I sell them all someone will always say hey I like one of those pins and I, I don't like to turn one at a time I like to do a bunch of them at a time Because there is so much involved you know having to wear the respirator and cleaning up after you're done So the dust doesn't stay in the shop and and get recirculated into the air So I try to do a, a decent batch of them and I always make a few extras and I'll go ahead and I'll get those micro meshed and polished and I'll put them in some plastic bags and put them somewhere safe that way, you know, somebody calls and says, hey, I'd really like to get a bolt action pin. I don't have to make just one. That's a hassle. This way, actually, no problem. I buy a kit. All I got to do is press it together and boom, it's good to go. So that's just a little something I do to kind of save some time. So what I'm out to do tonight is, let me head over here and get a light on. Um, I want to go ahead and get started polishing these, uh, these blanks up. Uh, I don't know how many I'll get done tonight. I hope I get them all done. But... Uh, I'll check back in with you and I will show you one of the pen and pencil sets uh, when I wrap up this video. I'm back. It was a good night tonight. Uh, I got seven blanks, micro meshed, polished, and assembled into pens, and I'm going to show you those in a minute. I got four additional blanks, uh, micro meshed and polished, and basically all they need is to be pressed into a kit. Uh, I think I'm going to make one more order this year, uh, probably. Uh, week after next and just that's going to be it for the year because I've turned so many pins I'm kind of getting tired of turning uh, For the sake of turning and I want to get I want to do a few shop projects, you know lights things like that And then uh, I got a few pins. I want to try so hopefully between now and the end of the year uh, We'll get some of these shop projects taken care of and maybe I'll have one or two uh, You know something that just different things. I want to try that might give you guys some ideas um I also, I'm going to show you the pins, but I also want to show you that uh, box set that I made, the pen and pencil set. They turned out sweet. Let me show you. And here are all of my pins. I am very happy with how these turned out. They just look absolutely amazing. I, I love these bolt action pins in gunmetal and antler. I just think they're, they're some of the nicest looking pins that Penn State makes. This is a pretty special one. This is a piece of Scottish deer antler. Very pleased with how this one turned out. It is just absolutely gorgeous. These are my four spare blanks. They are 10 millimeter blanks built for the Magnum kits. Uh, I think right after my show, I'm going to place one more order this year. I think I might have mentioned that. And I'm going to get four kits and finish those so I've got them on hand. And this is something I wanted to show you. This is the pin case for the Magnum pins. I think this is pretty cool. It looks like just a little gun case. It's got a little carrying handle here. And you open it up. And the nice thing is, I want to show you, it's got a pinned hinge. It's not one of those plastic hinges that's going to break over time. That's a pinned hinge. That should last for a long time. You open it up, and you've got your pen and pencil set. Here is the pencil. And you can eject the lead by pushing the bolt. And you see the lead coming out down there. It's pretty cool. I thought that turned out nice. Now, these are 3 8 inch. These are not the Magnum. These are the original, the standard size um, bolt action pins. Uh, but they don't make a, a mechanical pencil in the, uh, in the Magnum yet. I'm hoping they do one day. But uh, until then, these are beautiful. So I am really, really happy with uh, how this went tonight. Uh, I just went in, and it's, uh, it's about 5 till 8. Uh, my kids are getting ready for bed. They were up late last night working on a homework assignment. Uh, they had to, to read a book, and instead of doing a book report, they had to write a test. And the test had to be a 45-question test. It had to have like 15 multiple choice, 15 um, 
uh, fill in the blanks and 15, I think, true false. And they weren't allowed, it, they couldn't be simple. They had to be detailed that would challenge another student. And then they had to also produce an answer key. And the teacher, well, the teacher was absent today, but the sub collected those up and they're going to the teacher. And the teacher, I guess, is going to pass them out and they're going to take the test, <laughs> each other's test. So uh, kind of a neat assignment, but man, it was tough. They were, uh, they were really working hard last night to get this done and they were up pretty late. So um, they're going to go to bed a little early tonight, and they need to. They're just exhausted. Uh, so my wife told me, hey, stay out in the garage and goof off. So I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12. I got 13 pin kits that I need to finish turning. I'm going to go ahead and throw on my gear, and I'm going to try to get a couple of these turned tonight uh, just so I can uh, you know, get them off the table and free up a little time this weekend because this weekend I need to flock. I think I showed you, I did show you the case that I got, and I need to flock the bottom, and I want to do that during the day so that I've got the natural light. Uh, so that's going to be this weekend. Uh, but I'd like to get as many of these turned as possible so that they're out of the way and off the table. And, uh, you know, I just need to kind of go through all of my craft, uh, my craft show stuff get it all together and find out, you know, what's missing, what I need, uh, you know, just get everything ready to go this weekend as well, uh, because I don't have much time. I mean, next weekend uh, is the show, so pretty excited about that. Um, I, I think I've said enough. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. This was a great update. Appreciate you hanging out with me, and, uh, you know, hopefully now that uh, soccer has ended, uh, my daughter is uh, starting on the dance team. So that doesn't take as much time as soccer did. Soccer, they practice three, four nights a week and play a couple nights. Uh, but now that soccer's uh, uh, over for, until the spring, um, there's going to be more time in the evening, and I'm hoping to get back on this channel. I'm going to continue to give updates on the shop because I get a lot of good responses on those. You guys seem to really like this. And keep the feedback coming because what you like is what I want to keep putting out here. But I'm hoping to get back into some projects. I've got a lot of projects around the house to do. And I'm hoping to get back to some of the stuff like I was doing during the summer when I had more free time. When I was working on things and just kind of showing you, you know, what I'm doing. And uh, hopefully uh, there's going to be more time for some videos like that. So, uh, well, not hopefully there's going to be because I got some stuff I really got to get done. I've been focusing too hard on the show, uh, trying to get ready. And uh, I've let a few things go. So it's time for, time for old Bob to get, get busy and get serious again. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Um, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.